we are going to see Fibonacci search here. Fibonacci search is based on the Fibonacci series of numbers. The primary condition for applying Fibonacci search on numbers is that the numbers has to be in sorted order. Here we can see an array in which all the numbers are put in increasing sorted order. Below that we see the indexes on which the numbers are stored in an array. We are going to search for 10. So we can see here x is equal to 10. We will see what is Fibonacci series. Fibonacci series of numbers is starts with 0 and 1. The next number that is computed is computed by adding the previous two numbers. So 0 plus 1 is 1. Now again we add the previous two numbers to give the next number which is 2. So 1 plus 2 is 2. Sorry 1 plus 1 is 2. The next number is computed by adding again the previous two numbers that is 1 plus 2 that is 3 and so on. We can see we can go on computing this number, uh, this series. This is this is what is Fibonacci series. Now how do you apply this Fibonacci series for Fibonacci search? We start by computing a number, we can name it as FM, which is the smallest number greater than N, where N is the size of array or we can say number of elements that we want to search an element from, that is N. So we search for a smallest element which is greater than the size of the array. So here size of array is 10, hence the number between 8 and 10 or 13, that is 13 which is smallest number greater than 10, that is 13 becomes FM. The next number we compute is FM1 and FM2. FM1 is number that is previous to FM, so that is 8 and FM2 is two numbers previous to FM, that is third, that is 5. So we have computed FM to be 13, FM1 to be 8 and FM2 to be 5. We start with number of iterations searching for an element. With every iteration, we compute an index on which we want to see if our number that we are searching for exists. And how do you uh, compute the uh, index? We find the minimum of offset plus FM2 and N minus 1. So whichever is smaller in this, we take that as a uh, index for comparison. In the first iteration, we are going to consider offset as minus 1, minus 1 representing element beyond the array, here in array. So, uh, your index in the first iteration here in this example is going to be minimum of minus 1 plus FM2 which is 5 and N minus 1 which is 9. So, obviously the small is 4, hence we are going to use this 4 to index into the array. We see the element at index is 7 and 7 is smaller than 10. That means your 10, as this is an array, a sorted order, 10 is definitely going to be on the right hand side of our array. When we conclude this, we start our next iteration. Or before we go to the next iteration, what do we do? We again compute the new values of FM, FM1 and FM2 and offset. We are going to compute, we are going to recompute offset only when our element lies on the right hand side of the index. So now we have taken we have taken 13, 8 and 5 here as the three values as fm, fm minus 1 and fm minus 2. Because the element is on the right hand side we are going to just shift on the left by 1 and we are going to compute or we are going to consider these three values now as fm, fm minus 1 and fm minus 2. So your FM is now going to be 8 which is one number previous to our previous FM and this is going to be 5 and this is going to be 3. Offset is going to be the value of index that we have recently considered. So offset our new offset is going to be 4. This is the new values that we use for computing our index. So we start uh, go to the next iteration where we compute the index. Our index is again offset plus FM2, here offset plus FM2 is 4 plus 3 and this is 9. So again 4 plus 3 is 7 which is minimum, so 7 becomes your index. So you will be comparing the element with 7, uh, 7th location which is 30. 
now we can see here our element 10 is smaller than 30 so we are sure that the element 10 is definitely on the left part of the new partition that we have considered so we know that it's on the left left of 30 but definitely beyond 4 because right now in the next iteration that we considered we were considering only the it only the part beyond 4 so now we move to the next iteration before we move to the next iteration again we are going to compute the fm fm1 and fm2 values here because because our element which we want to search is on the left side of 30 our our computations for fm fm1 and fm2 will change i'll simply write down the series again we had considered this as the current series for fm 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 minus 1 and fm minus 2 so now what we will be doing is we'll be jumping fm to fm2 so we'll be skipping this value and we'll be we'll be jumping and then we'll be taking the new three series for fm and fm1 and fm2 so fm here is not going to be 5 it's going to be 3 fm1 is going to be 2 and fm2 is now going to be 1 so as i said if it was on the right hand side we would have considered this as fm but now it is on the left hand side we'll be considering this so we'll be skipping one and going to the we'll be skipping this one and going to the left by one and we'll be considering that so now these are our new values your offset still remains Four, which was in the previous case. Again, when we start with the new iteration, we are going to compute the index. So, index is going to be min of offset, which is four, plus fm two, which is one, and n minus one. So, minimum of that. So, n minus one is nine, and this is five. So, your offset is going to be five. And we are going to compare. We are going to use this five to look for the element, and we see. we have found the element 10 here and hence we are going to return return the index that we have found the element at 5 so we are going to return the index where we have found the element